Okay, I just want to introduce to you Grafana Cloud. Grafana Cloud is a cloud hosted solution of Grafana that you can use. And it's a little different than the open source version of Grafana that I teach in this course. Myself personally, I prefer building and managing Grafana manually using the open source version as I demonstrate in the course. But you may decide one day that you want a managed solution such as Grafana Cloud, which is the service provided by Grafana. There are a lot of extra benefits. For example, you'll get your own domain name. So your account name dot Grafana net you'll get an SSL certificate so you don't have to go out and organize one you can send email alerts so there's no need to set up an SMTP service and if you use my link you'll get a 28 day trial of Grafana Pro instead of the default 14 so using this link here for example if you visit it in the browser it will say 14 day trial but if you press this cookies button down the bottom here it then updates to the 28 day trial of Grafana Pro. So then you can continue your registration. So use these options or one of these other authentication providers. Anyway, I've already done that and I've logged in and I'm still actually using the free trial up here. So I've got a few days left. Now, when you register, you'll go through a process of creating your account name. I've done that and I've used SV code, but you'll also go through the process of creating a stack. I've already done that and I've also tested deleting it and that works. So if you do make a stack and you change your mind, you can always delete it and start again. So I'm going to create a new stack now. Just add stack and I'm going to call it spcode.grafana.net. I'll put it in Europe at stack. Preparing for launch. Okay, so there's a lot of extra information that we can look at, but right now I'm just going to go and visit my new Grafana instance at spcode.grafana.net and note also that it's HTTPS already. And there's the link there HTTPS spcode.grafana.net. I can sign in. Okay, I'm straight there. Okay, so go to your default page up there. It's version. 8.4.5 this one okay so there's your user account which is auto set up where you can set your preferences also you can test the email so you can go straight into alerts contact points and down here grafana default email you can edit that and send out a test email to whichever email you've got that's my email i use but your email will be different anyway you can test that okay so a predefined message send test test alert sent and I've already got my alert on my mobile phone I've set up my email account on my mobile phone as well using the default mail app okay there are some other things you might want to explore here Grafana cloud alerting Grafana machine learning Grafana on call integrations and connections and synthetic monitoring but in the meantime I will show you how to set up some data sources here and you'll see that the names of the data sources are slightly different than what I've shown you in the course where you can create them manually. The naming scheme is Grafana Cloud, your account name alert manager. So in the next two videos, I'll show you how to set up a Prometheus data source and the Loki data source, which is hyphen logs here. What these are is recreated endpoints. They're the URLs there and you configure your existing Prometheus or Loki to send to these URLs instead rather than the menu created Grafana server that we created in this course so I'll demonstrate those two things in the next two videos so continue to look around the user interface and you can go to dashboards home for example and see your current usage but just be very careful with the cloud service my testing shows that if I use data from more than one node exporter I've gone over the free allowance so be very careful about this but I'll demonstrate that in the next video anyway back into my Grafana labs account I can also launch my Grafana instance there or I can get the details for the endpoints I can send Prometheus data to Loki graphite Prometheus based alerts and another service called tempo and remember too, if you make a mistake, you can always delete it and start again. Okay, so I've listed out the benefits of the free tier and explain the difference between what this course teaches, being the open source version of Grafana and Grafana Cloud. Now, Grafana Cloud may be an option for your company one day rather than manually hosting your own Grafana service. The good thing about Grafana Cloud is the level of support that you get. So you can ask for support, open a ticket down there and get some more information. You can also log into the community.grafana.com app, which is the public forum for Grafana where you can ask your own questions as well and even answer some if you like. So excellent. Grafana Cloud may be an option for you. So remember to use my link, accept the cookie so that you get the 28 day pro trial coupon instead of the 14 day default. Excellent. In the next videos I'll set up some sample data sources. Excellent.